Do you want to make the nice bunny? Can you give a bunny a hug? Are you going to do it too? Oh, it's so spinning! It is spinning! Oh! This is so really nice and small. Oh, it's your You want to give her a heart? You have to go over to the, go over the nice lady. She'll help you. You're going to pick one out. Go help her. <laughs> I think you got a good girl. Marin, you got it. Good job. You say to her. Thank you. You're okay. Hey guys, so this is my weekly roundup of what I bought this week. Um, it's not exciting, this one's pretty weak. It's back to school time and every time I've been trying to shop, there's just been kids everywhere. Mall of America, everywhere I go on the regular Target, there's just back to school kids. So um, even moms without school age kids are excited for school start. I want my life back. I wanna be able to go shopping without just kids everywhere. Um, so anyways, School's gonna start soon, and then hopefully I will have more exciting hauls to bring you. But until that time, let's get into what I bought this week. <sighs> so, um, hit up Old Navy. I don't even know what's in these bags. We're gonna find out together, I don't remember. Um, I don't think any of it's for me. Uh, okay, yeah, I do remember this. Um, these little sweatshirts for the girls, and if you can see, this material almost reminds me of like varsity letter material, which I thought was kind of fun. I usually stray away from colors, but I'm going to pair this with just some jeans. And this is just like a, a casual like scrubby day outfit. It doesn't need to be like the most chic thing ever, but I thought these were just kind of fun. And my kids are always doing this. Yay! And then we picked up more. You guys, Old Navy has the best jeans for like toddlers and young kids. I mean, they got the stretchy waistband. And they're just kind of a nice wash. They're not too dark, not too light, and they're kind of, it's fun because they're kind of faded like adult jeans are, so I thought those were kind of cute. Two of those as well. Let's see. What is inside of you? Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, so, and I already filled out a survey. I'm in this, like, Old Navy Insider thing. If you spend a lot of money, I guess, I don't know, they want you to do these surveys. And I felt really bad filling out the survey because they were showing us like graphic um, t-shirt designs for the fall and they're like tell us what you think and I was like no 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 don't like don't like um, I'm usually not a fan of like any sort of um, like sayings that are I mean I'm contradicting myself because that shirt said yay but um, I don't like shirts that are like my favorite niece or strong like mom I, th I think those are so corny and they just make me like ooh, it makes me uncomfortable I don't know if anyone else feels that way like 
shopping at Carter's when the girls were babies was painful because I just wanted like a plain sleeper. Like if it said even a little thing that would say like daddy's sweetheart. I don't know why. Maybe there's something wrong with me. But to me, those induce my gag reflex and I'm just like, <coughs> I hate it. I don't know. I just, I like things plain and I find that stuff just way too cutesy. So Old Navy, I'm sorry. Most of your girl t-shirts that have any sort of graphic, whatever, make me sort of just want to throw up. Um, so I look in the little boys department. This is my little um, hack for moms that are like me that have girls and don't want them in like scrolly t-shirts with flowers and sayings and poems about the sun, and the moon, and rainbows. Um, thought these were kind of fun. They're just like a Mickey face and they're in your basic black and white and there's a little bit of red for Mickey's tongue. Um, I thought that'd be cute for layering, like a cute little moto jackety type thing over it and jeans. I mean, hell, look it. I mean, I could get away with wearing that because it's just plain and it's kind of fun. Um, Old Navy will get in the boys' department like concert t-shirts. I just got them. This was a while, a while ago, so I didn't include it in the haul. Like Run DMC or, um, you know, Guns N' Roses. Any sort of just little concert tees. Um, graphic things where it's just a plain, like, black shirt with white dinosaurs or something. Like, that I'm all for. Um... I don't know. I just, I'm a mutant, I guess. I don't know. And then I don't know if this bag is worth mentioning, but I can get this stuff for really cheap on sale. Socks and leggings. If you know, if you have kids, you can never have enough socks and leggings. And socks and leggings. And more leggings receipt. We, we went socks and leggings crazy. Um, we'll just cram that back in there. We'll deal with that later. So my other hack and I'll show you what I got. Um, and maybe not everyone would do this, but I do this. If you can kind of, you have to wait a while till your kids are a certain age and you've kind of been tracking their, you know, the pediatrician tracks their growth. I know what size my kids are gonna be in. I would be shocked if they had some sort of weird, huge growth chart. My kids are always a little on the dinkier side and I know that they're usually true to size, but on the dinkier side. So I take advantage of the, the sales, the closeout sales. So at Baby Gap, we got this denim kind of smocked up top and it's got the little ties it's a dress there's a little bit of a frill at the bottom it's that like chambray denim it's really light great for summer and then I also got this little lilac colored it's t-shirt material on the top the bottom is like a lacy eyelet with white very cute and then the back is fun it's got like a little crisscross design so I thought that was pretty cute and the best part, um, yeah, so these were originally 34, the crossback, this one, was originally $34.95. I got the $13.50. And then this, the denim, this one, was originally, I'll just look at the tag, originally $39.95, and I got those for $13.49. So I think what I think is a decent deal for um, Baby Gap dresses. So anyways, if you're like me, you load up the season before. Thumbs up. I head up Home Goods, and I unfortunately didn't find any Home Goods, but I did find um, something that I'm always on the lookout for. And these are in boutique baby, or boutique um, children's like toy stores, Melissa and Doug brand, they kill it, but they're also, you can find lots of Melissa and Doug at Home Goods. you probably know this. Um, but the thing I find that goes on sale the most, that I think is, has the greatest um, margin for savings, because I think they're very overpriced in the actual store, are Melissa and Doug sticker sheets. Um, they've got like the seams on the back. Once again, my kids aren't quite ready for them, but I used to love stuff like this growing up. And these have the biggest margin. If you look online, I mean, these can range from like six to ten dollars easily. Um, I should look up online how much they normally actually are. But at Home Goods, they usually charge three ninety nine. And if it's a Home Goods that has a ton of them and they sit on the shelf, they mark them down to if you can see that three dollars. So I mean, about half price. Sometimes even a little more, depending on where you're looking at these full price. Um, I make sure I usually grab two of each. So um, I usually don't buy a variety unless. There's two of it because it would start a massive riot at our house if we couldn't. We don't share. Sharing is just. Um, this one doesn't have scenes, but it's just a ton of different stickers. Girl-centric stickers. I should say there were boy ones too. If you're a boy mom, 
They had um, ones that were like airplane and construction scenes. Very, very cool. And so that's my little heads up. Whenever you're at a TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, I always check. They're usually with the kids' books. And um, I just keep my eye on it. If it looks like they've got a huge stack of them and they're not marked down, I'll be back in a couple weeks. I'm checking that out again. But yeah, I got a whole stack for $3 a piece. So that was a mom win, in my opinion. And I will go put these in my stack pile room before my husband can see that I bought more sticker books because he might not be too happy with me. Uh. I hit up Target and I am, I've heard a lot about micellar water. We're gonna try this out. I'll let you know what I think. Um, my skin lately has just not been liking me. So that might be the problem is, I don't know. This might be the solution, not the problem. I don't know what the problem is. My pop, my, <laughs> My skin is just reverted back to high school, so. That's been fun. I like it. It's a good change. Who doesn't want to have crappy skin? And then my next thing I was going to talk about that I'm equal parts excited and scared. I um, have been patiently waiting for fall stuff to come in. It hasn't come in. has not come in. Um, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I fantasy shop. Sometimes I'll just shop online and I'll put things in my cart with, like, this much intention of actually buying them. It's just like a, it's like a stress reliever for me. I think it's fun to online shop with almost zero intention of buying things. So I was playing that game and I ended up on the website Shein, which I'm sure if you um, follow fashion-y things or blogs, you've, you've heard of it. It's a cheap like um, Chinese retailer. They sell online. It has just shady written all over it, right? Like, mm, I don't know if I should do that. But I was fantasy shopping and I found so many things that spoke to me so strongly that it fantasy became reality. I was like, I have to, I have to do this. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. Um, I think her name is Patricia Brown. I watched her. She was hysterical, but she got some cute stuff out of it and she admitted that she thought it was worth, worth the risk. So I have a, a Shein order. I've heard that they take a while because they're coming from like a Chinese warehouse. So it could possibly be a couple weeks, but I am planning on doing a full review of my Shein purchase and showing you what I got. And um, if it all works out, I, I had a system in plan of how I was going to get the, the best quality for the cheapest price. So if my little shopping tactic works out how I hope it and think it might work out, fingers crossed, I will share with you how I think you should shop on Shein. But I don't want to get too cocky because I might end up with just a bunch of small doll-like clothes for my kids because it's cheap Chinese stuff. So we'll see. I'm excited to show you guys. to try Empower for the first time, which is why I have a weird like high ponytail because I heard it's gonna be sweaty, so I'm a little nervous. Wish me luck. Ah. All right, this is embarrassing because I look terrible and my ponytail is falling out, but I just got back from doing Empower and I really, I liked it better than Platform, which I guess isn't saying a lot because I was not a huge proponent proponent of um, platform but I think I think most people like it a lot better it goes really fast it's only 45 minutes it felt like 15 15 minutes um it's different um ankle weights they add something um we still use a platform so we're still like folding over on the bar um but I do I really I did like it I'm gonna give it a couple more chances just because I didn't even realize they added it to the schedule um and I went through like I normally do a couple weeks out started 
add, 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 added all my classes in the night, like in the fine print. I was like, oh, I signed up for like two Empower classes a week. So I've wanted to add cardio, so we're, we're all in, baby. I am adding cardio to my routine. Um, so I'll probably do another one of these and tell you guys after I've done a couple more, because this was just my first class, um, tell you guys how I like it. So far, I mean, thumbs up, but also like thumbs thumbs to an angle, like not completely thumbs up, kind of like, mm, like it was good. I just, we'll see. We'll see how I feel tomorrow too. I'll give you guys an update.